in the small villages nestled among the Transylvania mountains is told a legend that on the hour of midnight, strange human-like creatures possessed by the devil himself would come out of their graves to claim the souls of innocents and turn them into vampire bats. A warning. What you are about to see is not for the faint-hearted. However, a Mrs. Harriet Fraser of Springfield, Massachusetts, asked for it. She wrote, ever since seeing Dracula, I have been an ardent admirer of that fine character actor, Bela Lugosi. I have missed his unusual roles on the screen recently. Could you arrange for me to see him on your show, Mrs. Fraser? Mrs. Fraser, with a great deal of pride that we present to you now, the great character actor, Bela Lugosi, in a, a television premiere of a new role, that of Master Illusionist. For you now, he presents that weird... Vampire bat illusion. You asked for it. Remember what I now say. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. From now on, you will carry out any suggestion that reaches you from my brain. Instantly, without question. When I will you to do a thing, it shall be done.
Remember, Miss Fraser, you ask for it. Yes, Mrs. Fraser, you ask for it. But we all enjoyed seeing Mr. Lugosi again in a bit of stage magic. Mr. Lugosi, you were a man of many, many rare talents there. Thank you. You're very generous. The girl. Is she all right? Oh, she's excellent. May I present her? Miss Shirley Patterson. Oh, lovely lady, Miss Patterson. Howdy Delightful dear. for you to return to us. Thanks. May I congratulate you, too, on the splendid work you did in RKO 3D Thriller, That Second Chance. Mm -hmm. That's the first 3D that uh, boasts the names of people like Robert Mitchum, Linda Darnell. And... That's right, Jack Palance. Oh, it was really a thriller. You know, they have that cable car way up in the sky, and... Jack Palance and Mitchum have a terrific fight in it. Uh, it's really full of suspense. I know you'll enjoy seeing it. We shall indeed. Second chance. Thank you very much for helping us. And Mr. Degosi, how about your plans? When are you going to bring your distinguished acting back to the screen, sir? Uh, well, uh, there are a few things coming up. Uh, the first is a three-dimensional motion picture called Phantom Ghoul. Mm. And the second is a television series which will be produced by Ted Allen and called Dr. Acula. Dracula? Dracula? For heaven's sake, no. Just Dr. Acula. I see. <laughs> we'll be looking forward to seeing Dr. Acula. And thank you very much, Mr. Lugosi. Thank you, Arthur. I appreciate it. And Mrs. Fraser, we are all very glad that you asked for it. Which brings to mind now, what do you have in your mind to ask us? that you want to see happen on your television set at home, on vacation or anywhere, when you get the idea, of course, it's no good until we get a letter or a postcard. Here is our address. You ask for it. Box 323, Hollywood 28, California. We kind of thank you in advance there because it's very interesting to see what you, the boss, would like to have us do. And now, before saying goodbye for Skippy, America's largest selling peanut butter, here is Hugh Conover with the bulletin. You? Right, Art? And here it is. Bulletin. Wanted. Rob Sims, originator of flying motorcycles. Betty Fox, who skips rope on a small platform suspended 13 floors above the street. The goddess of fire, who dances with her body encased in flames. The world's fastest self-propelled human. If you know any of these persons or things, why or are right, you ask for it in Hollywood at once. Remember, you'll see it here because you asked for it. <laughs> <laughs>